what's going on YouTube um, it's been a few days here since I've made a video I uh, haven't picked anything up haven't had any mailbox finds or anything so um, but I did make a stop on my way home from work today with the wife and kid and <clears throat> I know these are all over I know this isn't going to be anything new but I'm super super stoked to find these they're all on really nice cards. I found two sets, a uh, fresh case. So I grabbed all ten of them and uh, figured I would just crack them open, do a quick re review, and uh, we'll see what we got here. So we'll start with this little Mazda. They're all on nice cards. It is a little sad because in my area, the Krogers are finding these. They're get, their Krogers are getting them, but the cases are crushed, so the cards are just crushed on most of them. And I was lucky to find mint cards. And I, I actually pre-ordered these from a Hot Wheel dealer who lives across town, and I just haven't had time to go pick them up. So, but that's okay. I'll have uh, four sets when I pick those up. These are four sets worth having, I think. So this is the Mazda. This is the RX-3. It's a very cool, it's a very vintage looking little race car. Really nice wheels, nice paint. Um, nice metal base. It's late afternoon, early evening, so I'm not getting the best light, so I apologize for that. But anyways, so that is a cool little car. Excellent roller. So that's dope. Next, one of my favorite Hot Wheel castings of all time, the Ken Murray Skyline. With the police livery. Man, that tape, no joke. <clears throat> I love this casting. And I really like the deco on this. That hood, the hood tampo. Almost looks like a, almost looks like a bra. I don't know if you guys remember, if you're as old as I am, you do, back in the, the late 80s throughout the 90s it was really popular to have a what was called a bra on your car and it was like a leather um, cover that covered the front of the hood some of them covered the whole front of the car up to the hood and what they did they were supposed to protect the car but what they ended up doing was collecting dirt and ruining the paint which is probably why you don't see them anymore, but that's kind of what that reminds me of. But Japanese police. <clears throat> really nice wheels. This this uh, five car set had quite a few new wheels. These are some of them. This is the first time these came out, I believe. metal base love it love this set this is probably my favorite set that Hot Wheels has brought out in quite a while the Toyota <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan <clears throat> of this casting but I really like this release of it with the yellow and the green hood. I really dig those wheels. Those wheels would be great wheels for customs. And again, I know you guys have seen these a thousand times. I'm way late to the party on the uh, car culture at least the Japan 
I think the Euros have come out, and I think the trucks are out now. So this is a set that I will be collecting. I'm going to try to grab a loose set and a carded set. I was, both of these that I found were roll cage. So that is cool. I'm happy about that. <clears throat> I like this one a lot too. Um, this casting, I, I really dig skylines, but especially from premium lines like the uh, the Heritage series, the Red Lion skylines that came out, as well as the Road Trippin. Even though that's more of a a mainline quality. But, uh, yeah, I just really dig these. That vintage racing look. It's awesome. I like the base on this, too, the blue. <clears throat> it's the only one of the five-car set that has a painted base. <coughs> Sorry about that. And the last one is probably the most popular. Uh, unfortunately, this is just a mesh grill, but that's okay, because I was able to get the roll cage skyline. Both of the uh, both of the 510 wagons are mesh grill, which that's okay with me. And this, oh, this is just awesome. That deep red interior. Really good racing tampos. Really cool wheels. The tires on these are new too. They're they're like rounded slicks. So I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they are very different than anything. Hot Wheels has ever put out. So, let's see if I can get this to focus here. Mm, there's the house. I don't. I don't know if I've done any work on that since the last video or not. <clears throat> Still a few more things I got to do to the house. And then obviously um, getting a foundation put down with a driveway and a garage is going to be a whole separate project in and of itself. But let's give these a, a good once over here. Those are sweet. And you know, it's crazy. My least favorite car going into it was the RX-3, but out of the package, it's one of the... It might be the nicest looking. The wheels on it are just, like, super sick. Deep dish. Really shiny chrome. Those are going to be popular donor wheels, I bet. I will not be chopping any of these. These will be kept in the collection. Kept in the collection for all of time. So that's it. That's all I got. I do I am waiting on a few few trades. So I will have Probably by the end of the week or early next week, some other videos with some pretty cool stuff. And I think after that, I'm going to shift gears a little bit and I'm going to do some green light um, where I'm going to focus on the series like the Black Bandit and the Country Roads, Hot Pursuit, 
So uh, I think I might do a few of those here in the next few weeks as well. Because, I, I mean, that's what I'm into more than anything else is green light. And then also I want to do a an update for my Ultra Red collection because it's getting up there. It's doubled or tripled in size since my last video. But that's it. There you go. There's the house. Uh, we got a uh, dude on his porch talking to probably some irritating salesman. And I've got a lot of trim that I need to put on the house. Window trim and other trim pieces. I gotta put a trim up there as well as up there as well as across there. I'm gonna do some across the garage. I'm gonna do a, a well it's gonna be what looks like a wood beam separating the brick from the siding there on the front. And I may do a chimney. I may or may not. The chimney, if I were to do one, it does take forever because you got to carve. You have to score the foam board to get the brick effect. So you have to measure it, then cut it, then you have to score it, and then you have to glue it together, and then you have to paint it, and then you have to attach it. The chimney itself would probably take a couple hours, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I think it would look really good, but but who knows? Anyways, so there it is. You can see I haven't done anything else. I, there's still a lot to do on the diorama. I gotta. I did grab the paint to paint the uh, the road markers. So I gotta tape it off and do that. Uh, I've got a whole bunch more vegetation I need to put down. I need to order a lot more trees. I need to order a stop sign or make one. And then uh, then I'll be there. And I think I've decided on this one. Probably just gonna throw it up on a local page. See if anybody wants to buy it for 20 bucks. And uh, it's crazy because nothing over here has changed in two or three weeks. That's a long time for me to not have added anything. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Have a great day. And I will... Whoa. I'll catch you all at the next video. Thank you.